Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the import process plan Skyr Cross. So, Dima Perturusin is a teacher. What we have to do with this name? Is a main teacher at school. He was sent on vacation for 10 days for his good work. So, Dima has long dreamed of going to a Sky Resort. So, he wants to allocate several contributive days and go his time. Since the vacation requires careful preparation, he will only go for at least three days. Means he will definitely go for at least three days. Three days or greater than three days to end days. Okay. So we are given a area contained in the weather forecast at the resort. That is on the eighth day, the temperature will be eight degrees. So that is given. So Dima was born in Siberia. So he can go on vacation only if temperature does not rise above two degrees throughout the vacation. So like he will go only when there are at least three days which has temperature less than two degrees. So this is the case, so, and we have to find that the count the number of days to choose the vacation dates at the resort. Let's see some example to understand clearly. Then we will discuss the solution approach. So, like we have an S three one is K and fifteen is Q. So, minus five is less than Q, zero is less than Q, and minus ten is less than Q. All three days are possible. So he has choices that at least three days he has to go. So like on first day, second, third, or he can choose one or two, or two or three, or one, two, three, all end days. He has the choices. So three, four, five. And six is as a number of days. So one more thing is that he can go only consecutive days. Like he can't go one and three. This will not be the case. So we have to keep in mind that. So for this, and discuss one more example to understand more better. Like for this case, second case, minus thirty three. Every temperature is above minus thirty-three, so he can't plan to go. That's why answer is zero here. For this case, third case, so these three temperatures are less than equal to K, the required temperature. This is one is greater than, and he need at least three days, so he will go on first, second, third, all three days. So one will be the answer. So hope you understand this. Like let's discuss the solution approach. How can we solve this problem? So for this, what we have to do, we have to do the calculation of days which has temperature less than K. Sorry, less than Q, and consecutive days. So wherever We will get the temperature higher than Q. We will reinitialize something that we will have it add. So we will take the input, store in the variable, and just start iterating from i equal to zero to i less than n, i plus plus simple. This okay. Then we will go and we'll check if There is value less than Q. If the value v of i is less than is equal to Q, so we will increase some count count variable that we will increase. Okay. So let me write as C will be better. C plus plus. If we found 
that it is not possible that vi is greater than q so we can't proceed further at this point so we have the else condition in the else condition there will be one answer variable which has initially zero value so in the answer variable we will equal to this now we have to calculate how many days are possible with this like out of consecutive days suppose like this this is 3 3 are consecutive days like c is 3 here and we have to do at least take one day so how many possible so let's suppose we have some function uh, days possible or where is this ways so they will have two arguments one is k we know and another than another will be c the number of days available that k and c this will be the case so we have to calculate so if c is 0 then there is no point of this we will get the 0 itself ok so other than that we will have the calculation for this answer as c count minus k plus 1 this is the initial count that means that many days we will go definitely so we will run a loop while count is not equal to k then we'll answer will be count minus k plus 1 and we will do simply k plus k. So last this function will return as answer. answer. So we have answer till this case. Okay. So let's suppose answer is here. And for the last case that if last value is considerable. So we can consider that. If so for that purpose we can check if this c is not zero at last last of iteration we found that if c is not zero we will again call this function and end answer plus equal to base k comma c so this result will be our final answer hope you understand the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you